All right, let's take a look at my Schluter install. So here I have the hands grow or hands grow we eye box valve. There's where the first shower head's gonna be. Over there, I had to do a patch because there was a big bubble of compound in a corner in the Schluter, so I cut a piece out and then I made a big patch uh, well over the two inch recommended um, uh, lip or whatever. So then I just put some mortar on it so it could um, have a watertight seal all the way around. Um, of course we got the shower niche. I also put in like a little flap over the edge just in case. I know Schluter doesn't even recommend that but since you can overlap things with the Schluter system I decided to do it. Why not, right? So I just pre-folded it, cut it, put some mortar underneath and just put it on and you know pressed out the remaining mortar. So there's the smallest piece I had to do right there for the walls and right here um, it's not perfectly even where the sheetrock meets the hardy backer and I'm hoping that the tiler will be able to fill in this gap with the mortar on the other side there is material in that gap it's not just a hole but it's not perfect and um, when I squeezed out the mortar, it uh, I squeezed everything out of that gap. When even though I had a nice and flush, but I had a lot of material in here. So when I was squeezing it out, the material in the gap just moved out of the way. So the next step is to put a piece for the tile floor of Schluter. And then go over the curb and end right there at the curb. That's the next step. After that, I gotta do my corners. So first the inside corners, and then the two outside corners, which is the top of the curb, right there. And then I got a special piece that I'll uh, adhere with the uh, thin set. For, for the eye box, even though I got an amazing cutout here, it's really good. And Schluter gave a shower piece where there's a little gasket around the shower head, stub out, whatever that's called. But, anyways, guys, um, so that's my Schluter install. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this was a pain in the ass. Uh, I don't know the other waterproofing methods, but uh, I could tell you that this was a pain um, because I had never did it before. You got to use thin set, and I suggest you work in sections because in the video they just show the guy, you know, first using the flat trowel to do the entire wall, and then he goes back after and puts the notches in with the trowel, right? I tried that and everything started drying. I, I was not quick enough with the trowel. It's my first time using one. So I had to scrape everything off, uh, add some water to the mix and try again. So yeah, um, it, it's a pain in the ass. Maybe for someone that did towel before it might be easy, but for me, seriously, I found it uh, painful. In more ways than one because I got back issues. Anyways, um, that's where I'm going to have a small stub out. Actually, where is it? Ah. Right here. Basically, this is for the hand shower. So this is going to stick out of the wall right there. Using that tube right next to there. And um, there's going to be a pole mounted basically. And we're going to put that pole right in the center. So technically you could turn on both shower heads at the same time and get like dual action from both sides. So 
Can't wait for that to be done. Um, got my brother-in-law popping in from Sri Lanka. And uh, I won't be able to be here when the towel guy is uh, starting the tile. Um, so hopefully everything goes perfectly. I hope to publish this video soon so you guys could actually finally see what the heck I'm doing with this house because I am doing a lot of work. Like uh, I replaced, you know, the windows. Which was easy on most of the windows except three of them. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.